So with uh, the examples we've seen in the preceding two clips, we should understand the definition of binomial probability uh, formula. Binomial probability is uh, what happens when you have a number of independent trials. In the cases we saw, uh, we flipped, rolled a die two times or three times or 20 times. Uh, those were <coughs> independent trials, and I could come up anyway on any of the trials not influenced by what happened to any of the others. And there are only two possibilities. That's uh, binomial means two, basically. Okay? There are two possibilities. Either we succeed on a roll, succeed in getting a five, or we fail. Okay? So uh, a success in the examples that we've seen uh, would be getting a five. So the probability of a success on each trial we're going to denote by P. We've already seen that. Okay? The probability of a failure we're going to denote by Q. And since it's either success or failure, this is pure black and white, no gray. Uh, it either is or is not, in this case, a five. Or if you're looking at probability of getting so many boys and so many girls and so many births, it's either a boy or a girl. Okay? There's no gray area. Actually, the way uh, human genetics works and, and so forth, uh, yeah, there are ambiguous cases there, but we're going to model it. Those cases are extremely rare. Uh, so it's, you know, we, we can model that as a binomial probability. Okay, well, uh, in any case, if the probability of a success is P, then the probability of failure has to be 1 minus P. Uh, Probabilities always add up to one, and the probability is one that something is going to happen. And if the, what happens is either this or this, then the probability of this has to be one minus the probability of that. Okay, well, what's the probability of exactly our successes on n trials then? Well, that's exactly what we did before, and again, we write down the same uh, formula that we developed previously. But here is the summary of the conditions in which this formula applies. You have to have, to have n independent trials, probability of success being p, probability of failure being 1 minus p, and then we want the probability of exactly r successes on n trials, and there's our formula. Uh, the C of n r, you recall, stands for the number of ways to distribute r successes over the n slots. If each trial is a slot, to, you, know, you have n slots to fill in with results of each roll, each flip, each birth, whatever it is. <coughs> um, there are C of n r ways to distribute the r successes over the n trials. Um, then we have here uh, the probability of any one distribution of R successes. That is, there are C of N R ways to distribute the R successes on N slots. Uh, this is the probability of any one of them, uh, P to the R times Q to the N minus R. So, for example, now the probability of two fives on six rolls. See if you can, by yourself, uh, pause for a second, see if you can apply this these conditions. Does this apply? Does this situation satisfy the conditions? Can you identify N? Can you identify R? Can you figure out P? Can you figure out Q? Okay? So, okay, well, the result is uh, two fives on six rolls. Um, the six rolls are six trials, so N would be six. The two fives, that's the number of successes. So that the number of successes is R, uh, exactly R successes on the end trials. Probability of success on any trial is one sixth. Probability of getting a three is one sixth. The probability of a failure is one minus one sixth, which is five sixths. And of course, you're going to fail four times if you get exactly two successes on six trials. Okay, two successes means four failures. So, uh, meaning of this again is, here's your C of six two ways to position your successes or distribute them on the, uh, among the six trials. Uh, the one sixth uh, squared ways to succeed twice. 
the five six to the fourth ways to fail four times. Look at the probability one six squared of succeeding on two rolls. Probability five six to the fourth ways of failing on fourth rolls. Multiply all these together, you have your probability.